What's up, everybody? My name is Lehu, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehu Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Vengeance of Black Company. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have Patreon and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Dungeon of Black Company episode 11. Last episode, we met Rim's sister. Rim gave her her name, Sora. And we are going to venture to a new floor, I believe. We're going to see that there's some weird stuff going on with this dungeon. And it's because of Rim's sister. Rim's sister was sick. Or something was going on with the dungeon that affected Rim's sister. They're both connected. It's like their health, mentality, anything affects each other. But Rim's sister is good now. She's healthy. She's not sick anymore. But something weird is still going on. So there are two uh, guardians of the door to the next floor, I believe. Now there's more than two, which is odd. And we're going to figure out how it's going to play out in this episode. So this is the door to the next floor. And that's the guardian. The ruins that Lady Belza seeks close by. Oh, the ruins of the creators of Rim and Sora. Belza has bodyguards. Yo. And she keeps the strongest ones as her bodyguards? Mm. Selfish woman. Oh, they're writing the ants. Uh, this guy must have been brainwashed. Assist me? Yes, spoiled brat! Huh. You know, it's very interesting how he keeps repeating that relying on others. Don't rely on others. Oh, he's holding his face. He's like, how dare you? Oh, he's taking over so he can get to the ruins. That's so BS! <laughs> you know, Mia is totally influencing people so he could be the leader and take over. He's totally portraying himself like he's like a genius strategist or something like that. So he can take over the ruins. That's why he's helping you. Wait, did Belza raise him? And it looks like Sora is still sick. I thought she got better. Okay, I thought this person was a guy, but they're blushing. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> now he's a guy. There, this is what's it called? Fan service. This is fan service. I can see it. See, gross, gross. See, that person said gross. He's planning more shenanigans. <laughs> It's not gross, but just from she is saying that it's gross, it's confirming. 
that Nina Mia is purposely, quote, wooing, using, quote, this person. Shameless man. Shameless. So would you, okay, is there, there's a debate in my head, like, is him using others not considered as relying on them because he's manipulating them? Lunch to super attack, super punch, and super kick. Oh! I wonder if these guardians multiplied more to strengthen their security to guard the ruins. Oh, just in time when he thought that he was useless. Holy be seduced, dude. Oh, that's right. They gave her English name, Sky. But she says Sora. That's right. She's named after the sky. Wait, the sixth floor. Oh, they're going into the sixth floor. Interesting. Oh, you just want to like check things out before anyone else, just in case. This is going too easy. Something's going to happen. Nina Mia's plan is going to be revealed. Like, Right before he gets to the door, right? Why is she crying? Yeah, you should know better. When anybody knows the truth. <laughs> yes, yeah, so all this, uh... Like, oh, something's going to thwart Minomiya right before he gets to the doors. Hmm. Whoa! I thought it was a portal, but it's actually something solid. Oh! Oh, he did surveillance first! Management manipulator. So, 4,500 years ago. What? Oh, so he's connecting the gun to... ...to that thingamajiggy, that artifact. What are we, we calling here, Gun-chan? He looks so evil, yo! <laughs> Useful pawns in my pursuit to power! <laughs> Much. 
Are you going to put the power of the dungeon to good use? I may lie to others, but I never betray my own feelings. Oh my gosh. Uh, this room going to knock him down. Something's going to happen. Yo, is that a giant guardian? Commander in chief. But this isn't the technology. This is him controlling the guardians only, right? Oh, oh. Dungeon Master Belza. Oh, so she actually had a name. <laughs> the Ancient Kings? Yo, he petty. Provide security for your future. How is he going to regret it? Oh! <laughs> what? She's concerned about that. Nah, I think she's being petty too. Oh, Belza, you were trying, but you failed. Three months later. Welcome to the King of Dreams, Nino Mia Dungeon Land. Oh, is this the Dungeon Black Company? What is this crappy commercial? <laughs> Dungeon land. But how are you making that place dungeon land? I'm quite curious. Revolutionize the dungeon. Did his hair grow or did he just let it down? <laughs> Ranga's still dressed as a girl. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, why are you doing this? Because he didn't really get the technology, right? This is only like... a speck of it. Oh, regenerating the magic! Magic circulation! Refuse to control and manage the magic. Control and manage. Top secret dungeon manual? <laughs> what the? Oh, so he did get the technology. 
Wow. Draw magic from the outside. But how does it observe magic from the others? This is like Monsters Inc. where they get powered by this group of children and then instead of screams, it's laughter. How is the tension absorbing magic, the mana? Is it like the gun where it's just absorbing? Huh. These must be the ancestors ancestors of the executive that we saw in the future. Is he taking over the company? Oh, he ain't no single person. I wonder how big his company is now because he had to answer, right? Grang, 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 grang. <laughs> few days later. Well, that was quick. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. I hope this doesn't backfire on him. Whoa! You know, this looks like an adventures store version of like a Walmart, Target, or department stores. Oh, is he being like Amazon? Where people order from the catalogs and it gets delivered? <laughs> She's getting frustrated. I love it. Oh, this is satisfying, yo. What? He's a scientist? Wow. Oh, he knows. He knows he first would need to follow him.
Who's she? Is that Shia? Who would stubbornly stay with Ryzaha? What you gonna do, girl? <laughs> He's ruling over the monsters. Huh. So... These guys are considered as monsters? Oh, interesting. Oh, I feel weird calling the dungeon monsters monsters. So, these guys are called monsters. What do I call the dungeon creatures? Majin? <laughs> Isn't that where Nino Mia goes to drink when he's depressed? And isn't that the lone shark chick? Brian Brad's technique and ideology. <laughs> Oh. Oh, they're really drunk. Something bad might happen. Oh, she's so mad. Oh. What's Ranga doing there? Oh, she's an illegitimate child? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen with Shia? Oh no! She has a plan for Shia! Yo, I was really satisfied with this episode when Nina Mia took over the dungeon, got that power, and threw at Belza the resignation letter and the money that he owed for his debt. I was like, hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Oh, so much satisfaction from that. And I was really happy that Nina Mia was finally like, rich because that's what he really, really wanted. And like, I'm. So happy by how successful his company is and how he's overpowering Ryza Hall. Like, oh, it's so good. But this is like the 11th episode. There's 12 episodes in this series, this season. So it's like, okay, what's going to happen in the next episode? Something is bound to happen, right? And isn't you know, Mia's uh, goal is to go back home to Japan? So it's like, okay, what is Nino Mia? 
really trying to do because it can't be that he's settling in this world. Doesn't he want to go back to Japan? And then there's Sky, Rim's sister. Instead of Sora, we're going to call her Sky because that's what they're saying in the subtitles. What about her? Like, is she okay? What's going on with her? And because her and a dungeon, they're connected, right? And then there's Shia. She stayed with Raizaha. And Belza is totally going to use Shia. But how? I know she has plans. But what is her plan? What is she trying to do? I, oh, I'm really curious for this last episode. What did you guys think about this one, though? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to podcasts is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lee Hula, and this is a Super Fina channel reacting to Dungeon of Black Company, episode 11. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!